what's up there guys welcome back to another episode of outside um, looking at some more gameplay today if you didn't see the first episode um, just click the uh, the link at the bottom there you can go and have a look at that um, it's just a brief introduction to what we're going to be talking about today it might be a little bit confusing for those that uh, don't know um, so we're still going to be in the garden today I'm sorry but uh, I've got a few more things to cover and then I promise we'll go somewhere else. Um, so let's get going. So here we are still in the garden. Um, now before we get going with another thing, uh, my character is a little bit thirsty so um, I'm going to have a quick drink. Uh, let's see what I've got in my inventory here. Okay, so I've got some beer. Oh, that one's empty. Uh, yeah, that's better. So we'll get the uh, we'll get the opener item out so we can get that open. Have a better look at that. Las Vegas. Um, and then we'll combine that with the beer. And that'll open it up for us there. Now we can put the opener away and have a drink. That's overflowing there, that's a nice effect. It's the little things that make this game so um, interesting. Um, but a little bit about this, uh, the beer, you can't, can't get this item until you're about level 18, depending on the region. Um, level 21 in the USA for instance. We'll just get rid of the empty bottle there and I'm going to put down my swan as well so I don't have to carry that and have another swig so that we can get going without the character being thirsty having a debuff for thirst which is quite unpleasant but anyway I remembered what I was going to do with the saw I was going to show you guys how to make some fire so what we're going to need for that is some firewood uh, which is made from, as you can see I've got a little stockpile here, it's made from um, planks or logs. Um, so we'll just grab one here and take it over somewhere where we can saw it. Interestingly this can actually be used as a weapon item as well, so um, if you just put it into weapon mode you can give it a quick swing, you can also defend with it quite effectively. It's not the best weapon, um, obviously, but just to, to show you the different um, uses there. So we'll go and grab the saw, which again can be used as a melee weapon if needs be. Um, in fact, the other players probably wouldn't take too kindly to, uh, to you walking around the, the city hubs with this. So you've pretty much just got to keep uh, going at this, uh, it's quite time consuming. Um, my soaring skill is not very high. Um, but you can improve yours just by doing little things like this, maybe move on to some bigger stuff. Um, and then eventually you can maybe make the raw material, sort down some trees. So once you've got most of the way through you can just use the stamp action, um, which will just finish it off for you and you've successfully made yourself a, a log to put on a campfire, keep the NPCs away at night, that sort of thing. And then once you've burnt it, it'll change again into charcoal, what's called charcoal. It's pretty much just the same with a different texture. Um, obviously it's black now, which you can tell. All high resolution textures, which are really, really nice. Um, you can see a few different types of the wood item there. Uh, wood being one of the few things that is actually not player made. It'll uh, it'll grow on its own there. Um, and you can see just there what it looks like when it's just been cut freshly from a tree. So there's another thing that I wanted to show you guys. It's sort of the next level up from what we've just been doing there. Um, you can make sort of a portable fire, make a torch for night time in case you can't see. 
Uh, what this is is just a pole which is similar to the logs that we've just been using with um, some cloth wrapped around the top. Um, you're also going to need some propellant so I've got a deodorant bottle item here but we'll get rid of that. And then a lighter as well or, or anything that will uh, that produces fire and that will light up quite nicely and uh, well, I mean it will take a couple of seconds we'll go somewhere a little bit darker so you, go, you guys can see that um, probably stop your character from getting attacked by NPCs I'll generally stay away from someone with a, a torch um, but that's a pretty simple item to craft um, but it's good for questing in uh, caves and dungeons that sort of thing so I'm just going to cut ahead until it's uh, dark Actually, just in the meantime, we're going to have a look at some of the in-game menus and things. Um, so we've got our phone item. You can get lots of different uh, ones of these, um, and they all look slightly different, work slightly differently, but they all do the same thing. It's just for communicating with other players that aren't um, in your local area. So we're just going to send um, Dave, who whose character's name is actually Amy, he plays as a girl character uh, so we're going to send him a message, see if he's going to come online later on so we'll, we'll say... yeah, okay, we'll just, uh, we'll just send him a basic message um, and that is basically how you send um, whispered messages, private messages to, to other players um, there are other ways to do it um, we've got a bigger menu here um, hang on, let me just figure out how to bring this up yeah, ok, there we go so this one's on the iPad item um, <coughs> lots and lots of different options that you can do in this menu I mean, you, you don't really have to play the game at all um, you could just spend your entire time here. Um, so you've got all sorts of in-game forums and things. This is one for a mini game um, that's due to come out soon, uh, and you can communicate with other players in there as well. Post messages, questions, get some help with the game. Um, but I'm just going to fiddle around with this. Uh, until it gets dark and then we can have a look at our new torch in action so it's not quite dark yet but the uh, the sun's gone down so that'll do I'm going to light up our torch here um, and have a look at what we can do with it um, as you can probably tell it's going to have a quite a limited lifespan, um, weapons do degrade in this game so you'll have to make a new one eventually. We'll just go up to uh, our little meadow up here um, and have a look around, as you can see it's much brighter than it was earlier on, uh, can wave it around down at the ground, get rid of the NPCs, so I keep saying NPCs, I'm meaning animals, um, obviously all the other um, people you see in the game are other players, so animals are what you'd be fighting off in quests and things. Um, unless it's a player versus player battle, um, in which case you could uh, use something like this, you use the lunge or uh, the swipe attacks, um, but most people tend to, to have better weaponry these days. Um, so that's uh, a quick look at the uh, the torch, very simple item to make, um, it's a bit outdated these days, I mean it was used massively when the game was first being played, it was pretty much the only thing that people had figured, figured out how to make, um, and the only way to get fire, light, um, things like that, and how to make them portable, um, but as I say, not a lot of use today, um, but it's a nice little thing that you can make if you're ever bored. So that's about it for today. We've uh, we've covered some basic crafting and 
some of the menus. Um, if you want to leave some suggestions in the comments about what you'd like to see from the game, um, then maybe we'll uh, we'll do that for the next video. Um, and please don't forget to to like and share, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, thanks a lot, guys.